All right, guys, here's the deal. Can auto techs be replaced with robots? That's what we're talking about right now, right? Well, not today, but I'm definitely gonna buy a Tesla robot. Let's see if we can do that. Seriously, why not? But this week, we're gonna be covering a lot of the cool stuff that we do. I use three different ways right now I'm using AI in this shop, I'm gonna share it with you. One's like a secret, like how to buy cars. I don't even know if I should tell you. At the end, we do a Bible study. It's cool because the Bible study actually changed my life. Anyways, this is going to be a fun week. Let's get rolling. I think this one is going to be big. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. If I put my tongue to this, what, I would never do that. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome. Let's get going this week with Studio Hot Rods Restoration Revelations. This week is going to be kind of weird. It's like a tradesman version of what the heck in the world is AI and how do I use it? I use it all the time to run my hot rod shop and research things and look at things, come up with concepts. And I've learned so much so quickly because the world is changing really, really fast. So let me share it with you where we're at today with AI because I got to tell you, it's the platform. The world is changing really quick. And I couldn't be more serious about this. You got to either get on the bus or you're going to get run over by it. I trust me in this running water in the house. It's going to be big. All right, guys, let's start with a real world application. Here is the Willwood power, you know, power brake unit that we bought from Willwood. With not enough vacuum out of the LT4, knowing that it didn't have enough vacuum, we had to compensate for it. But how do you get some information about how much vacuum it should really have or what does it really need? You could Google it, right? Or you can contact like ChatGPT or Gork or one of the different engines that you got to sign up with. You know, for the artificial intelligence or the AI, you actually got to get an account. Super easy, go on, it's an app. You got apps on your phone, you get this app. It's no big deal. So X has Gork, which I kind of like. And the other favorite I have is ChatGPT. I use two different ones in myself. But what we did is I download those apps, do that. So now at least you could tell your grandkids, you know, I have ChatGPT. Because it will, it's no big deal. Anyways, you get that. And then you got to ask it. You ask it prompts. Now, the prompts that I would ask it for in this thing is like, if I'm going to build a cool component. Now, I wanted to put a vacuum pump together with a relay, and I got to switch in it to manage a vacuum that's all integrated into here. But I, I asked ChatGPT, I said, when, in a 1970 Chevelle with the brake master and booster, how many cars share that same style of master and booster? Because if I make it, how many different cars would it actually go on to? Huh, the number was incredible, right? And it gives you details. You can say, what was the most popular? What did it cross over? Did it go into Pontiacs? Did it go into this? You can ask it anything, literally anything, and it'll give you answers. Then I asked it, what is the average vacuum needed in, a, in these cars, even back in 1970, actually operate the brakes correctly? Now, I know the LT4 doesn't generate enough vacuum, but you could go to a Hydro Boost, you could go to No Assist, or you can build something this cool because I was also looking to see what other products that are actually on the market. You know where I looked? I didn't Google it. I used the AI. And how you ask AI is everything. It's not like Google, like maybe I think I should show you. All right, let's go through what a prompt is. A prompt is a way of asking AI a question to try and get the specific answers to the questions that you have or the things that you're trying to research. Come on, let's go do it together. I got an idea. Here we go. All right, guys, this is what's called an Arduino. It's actually a microcontroller. I showed you at the end of last week's episode. Actually, that's a great episode. It came out during 4th of July, and I don't know if a lot of people got to see it, but if you want to see a whole rundown on our Chevelles and what we do and how we build them, it's a really great episode, man. That is a spectacular car. Anyways, prompt. You can do sophisticated prompts or you could do simple prompts. I'm going to start with a little bit more sophisticated prompt just to show you like how AI is bridging across like, man, if you're a programmer for a living, you might want to consider becoming a mechanic <laughs> because it's probably not going to be good. I bet you that programmers as they know them, as we know them, as they know, as they're known today are probably not going to exist. I would say in the next two years. Can you imagine a whole field of people? Why? Because the AI at the end of the day is really a very sophisticated programmer. And everything you ask it, it's going to write a program to find out the information you want. Isn't that crazy? Anyways, a basic program to run this is pretty easy. You take your application. Again, remember this is an Arduino. 
It's got digital outputs and inputs here, but I'm just gonna call out a couple. I want you to see how simple it is, okay? So this is Gork, right? And of course I don't type, I talk. Check this out. I need a program to run an Arduino R3 board. What I would like to do is run two relays in succession. Run the first relay for 15 seconds, stop it, and then run the second relay for 15 seconds and stop it. And repeat over and over and continue going. I would like to use pin number nine and 10 as my signal pins to run the relays. Please write the code. As it's writing the code, it's done. Look at this. Define relay pins number nine and 10. Look at this is all the code that you literally have to put on your computer and you'll hook it up to a wire. So you copy it, you take a little wire like this, you plug it into here. This is crazy, crazy. Now I'm getting a little techie for you. We're gonna go something a little bit simpler next. But anyways, you plug this in the USB port, you plug it into here, click, you push program and this thing is literally gonna run that program. Click, click. Now I'm running the pumps. Isn't that crazy? All right, let's go. Let's go something a little bit different. You get the code writing. Why is code writing important? I'm gonna do another prompt. All right, here's another prompt we gotta write. What I wanna do was, that, you know like we did the video in the beginning of this video with the robots? Because I actually do wanna buy a robot. I'm actually gonna buy a Tesla robot because I really think we need to do body work. I know I can have it run the 3D printers and there's lots of cool things that I'm gonna, you know, why not be at the front edge of technology? Anyways, I get distracted, that's what I do, right? Anyways, what we're gonna do is this. I'm gonna produce another video, right? But what you do to produce a video, it's in Google Flow. It's a free app. If you wanna pay for it, you can use it. But hey, you guys been on the internet, watching Facebook, watching YouTubes. You seen all the talking gorillas and all that stuff that's going on out there? This is how they do it. So I'm sharing with you guys something else that I think is kinda of cool. So, but my shop, we got cool stuff going on. What I wanna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna make a prompt first, and then you're gonna take that prompt and an image and we're gonna upload that to Google Flow. And then it processes it, the AI will actually process it all. But here, let me show you how you make a prompt. In Gork, here we go. I need a prompt for Google Flow that I will upload an image with. And what it is, is me in the picture, standing in front of a car, and what I would like to do is walk back to the car and rip the rear tail light out of the car, physically. So you take this and you copy it, right? Just go here, you select the cop, select the text, you copy it, yada, 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 and then you put it in the Google Flow. And here we are sitting in front of Google Flow. I'm just showing you how we got there. And that, now let's take a look at and see how the image did. That's not me, kids. That's just an image of me walking up to the car. <laughs> I know it's a bit silly, but I'm just trying to show you how you use a prompt and how that all kind of nets together, right? Because AI means artificial intelligence. And all I can really do is kind of pull things together for you. So if you want an in-depth research project, you can ask AI and say, write me a business plan. I just came up with this idea, this invention, this concept, the, the brake booster, right? Say, I built this, tell me how many different cars it could actually fit in. But do the research, say what car it fits into that kind of detail. You can ask the AI, whether, whatever AI tool that you're gonna use, whether, you know, like I said, I use ChatGPT or I use Gork. You throw it at it and the thing will come back and then you refine it. Nah, about 95% of the time, it seems like it's accurate. If it seems funny or weird, you just ask it again and look at it again. Now, if you ask the AI for an image, right? They're image generators in general they're not gonna be all that good. Does that make sense? It's not gonna be, you can't have it draw you a schematic. It's good at writing code. It's good at writing questions. All right, one more thing that we're gonna do with AI that you can't do without it. All right, guys, the third thing that I'm saving the best for last is something crazy that I'm gonna deploy to buy cars. I'm always looking for these Chevelles, right? I'm scouring all over the internet. You know how much time I spend on doing that? This is called an AI agent. Remember like in the Matrix? Mr. Anderson. So check this out. AI really just writes code. And I'm not gonna walk you through the whole 
how to set this thing up. Because what I'm going to want you to do is go to N8N, which is a website that actually you can get this. So you pay a fee, you sign up for it, watch some videos on YouTube, but basically what's happening is you get an AI agent. What an AI agent is, in a macro perspective, like a really high level perspective is, it is an AI tool that's gonna work for you on specific things that you're looking for. Now, what am I gonna use an AI tool on? How am I gonna find cars? I'm gonna have it scour the web. I'm gonna have it scour Facebook Marketplace. Check that out, how cool is that? So anytime a Chevelle comes up for sale, I guarantee you, I'll be able to be one of the first people to know what's out there and where it's at by building an agent like this. Isn't time crazy? Isn't it? It's just nuts. The time that we're living in, you guys, it's just absolutely crazy. Yes, I want my Tesla robot. I do. I for sure do. Because I think we can put it to work. But you guys, take some of this technology at, to heart, man. You could do it right in your shop, right at your home, right in your business. There's tons of ways that you could apply it, and it's moving pretty quick. Like I said, you're either going to get run over by the bus or you're going to get on the bus. You know, I think you should get on. It's not going to be that difficult. Anyways, let's get to the best part of the, the whole episode. It's always the Bible study for me at the end because that is really the truth. You know, it's not like this. Remember when Neo actually sees things for what they are? That's what I think you get out of reading the Word of God because that's the truth. All right, let's go do it. All right, guys, you ready for the best part of the episode? I love sharing the Word of God with you guys. Why? Because it'll change your life. If you get yourself a Bible, get in the Bible study with some people, man, I'll tell you what, no matter what's coming your way, you can have peace in your heart. Could you imagine having peace all the time, no matter what's going on in your life, seeing things different? Like Neo, stopping the bullets, whatever, right? It's just a silly movie. But there's something about the book of John. And that's what we're going to read today. You know, John is one of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. John is one of the four Gospels that's written. I spent over a year studying just the book of John, right? Hello. That's a lot of time. Anyways, it's right in the very beginning of this one. It just reminded me of kind of what we were talking about and, you know, what do you see? What do you know? What's real? So let's just dig in, right? John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him, all things are made. Without him, nothing has been made that's been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. And that light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. Isn't that cool? Like, what a crazy concept. You know, like, everything exists in this world. It really is like the Matrix in a lot of ways, because God created the planet. He created us. He's got a plan for you in your life. He's got a plan for me. He's got peace in your heart. If you could just, just let go a little bit and just have some faith, It'll change the way you look at everything. Anyways, like, subscribe, follow along, reach out if you need a Bible. I'm serious about that. I really, really am. I hope you guys are blessed, and I will see you next week.